It seems that American car makers are beginning to respond to the need for fuel economy, reliability, high performance, and high styling. This is the 1984 Pontiac Fiero. It's one of the new cars you'll be seeing next year, and you can be sure that it's going to turn some heads on the highways. Well, picture a car that sells for less than $5,200, gets 100 miles to the gallon, and looks more like a rocket ship than it does a car. Well, I've just described the unbelievable 1984 Light Star. <laughs> Flash Gordon. Ocean City, running a rod that looked real pretty, and with every friendly face I'd see, they'd want to know what's under me. What do you think of my car? I think it's neat. It's like a spaceship or something. Maybe the wings expand, huh. and you could go take off somewhere. I think it's a neat idea. If you could drive it down the street and drive it out to the airport and then take off and fly somewhere. Now, it's not a plane or a rocket ship. There's something here. It's much more hip. It goes real far and gets there fast. On nickels and dimes, you can bet your gas. How you doing? All right. Fill her up, please. Fill her up. $1.65 to fill it up. <laughs> No, it's not a car, and it's not a boat, and it doesn't fly or even float. It's sort of like a sleek vehicle, a brand-new fangled auto-sickle. It is not cute and neat and a racing machine. It is a vehicle for the street, for two people. And again, people say it's only two seats, but then again, drive down the street, and how many cars do you see with more than two people in it? John Donaldson distributes the Light Star in New Jersey, and he's pretty confident that this little two-seater will sell. It was designed by a former NASA aeronautical engineer, which explains its unusual shape. If form really does follow function, it's no wonder the Light Star performs so well. People have told me this is a very radical design and crazy. But thinking about it, this is the logical design, and what we drive now is the crazy thing. So how fast does it go? Well, if we're talking the 450cc, we're looking at maybe 160 miles an hour. The smaller engine will move the vehicle at about 120 miles an hour. Well, still at the same time giving 100 miles to the gallon of leaded regular gas, the cheapest you can buy. And with a base price of $5,200, don't be surprised if everyone buys one, even Grandma. I thought it would be nice, just a little putt-putt to go around Drexelbrook. The only trouble is I can't drive. 